The Lawrence W. Kaplan Lecture in Dispute Resolution brings together each year a broad array of conflict resolution professionals and interested community members. The lecture series honors Judge Kaplan, who helped and pioneered the introduction of alternative dispute resolution processes to our region. When the lecture series started in 2003, few, if any, leaders in the conflict resolution field were coming to Pittsburgh. The collaboration of Ann Begler and Gail McGloin created the vision and with the support of the Allegheny County Bar Association, the Pittsburgh Mediation Center, and the Mediation Council of Western Pennsylvania, the lecture series came to life. Since then, the Dialogue and Resolution Center and the Collaborative Law Association of Southwestern Pennsylvania has joined in the support of the lecture to expand its reach to collaborative practitioners and other professionals involved in dispute resolution processes. The lecture's intent is to increase awareness and critical thinking about options in dispute resolution by hosting speakers who have a depth of experience, commitment to the developing process of dispute resolution, and vision to capture our imaginations. Over the past 10 years, speakers have presented on ideas such as cultural awareness and differences that matter, staying calm in the face of high conflict personalities, challenging conflict through understanding, and challenging ourselves as professionals by understanding our own conflict competency. We thank you for your support through the years and into the future as you continue to join us each year to enhance and expand Judge Kaplan's legacy and shared vision for an increased awareness and access to sensible dispute resolution options in our region. It's so nice to be able to talk a little bit about Judge Kaplan and you know it makes me think back to the early 80s. I remember one day I was sitting in my office and my phone rang and I picked it up and there's a voice at the other end in his very special way. Hey Ann, this is Larry Kaplan. I just took a great training and I wanted to tell you about it because I think it's something you'd be interested in. He talked about was uh, mediation. They didn't talk about it. Dispute resolution was not the big words in those days. No, no one used those words. No one used those words. <laughs> and, uh, but mediation, they did. I was quite skeptical about uh, mediation. I thought that uh, you could lead a horse to water, but you couldn't make it drink. And Larry has proven me wrong over and over again. So listen carefully to these words, uh, I was wrong. I think the most significant thing about Judge Kaplan is that in his nearly 30 years of sitting in family court, he's maintained a couple things. Number one, his sense of humor. Number two, his faith that people are able to resolve disputes themselves. Kaplan was, was a, a, a different type, uh, and he, was, he became invaluable as a, um, as, as a front man for the mediation movement. Uh, at that time, uh, the Family Mediation Council may have been the, uh, the first uh, organization in Pittsburgh dedicated to the practice of mediation. Um, if, if it was not the first, it was one of uh, one or two other organizations, uh, including the Pittsburgh Mediation Center, um, that uh, made their mission um, empowering parties uh, to make their own decisions. Uh, eventually, the use of mediation as a solution has caught on in a number of, of programs, including uh, the, the uh, bankruptcy court, uh, federal court, the post office uh, mediation programs. Uh, but I truly believe that Larry's steadfast advocacy for the process had a lot to do with giving it the credibility that it needed in order to spread. The Kaplan Lecture began after a conversation between the founders, Gail McGloin and Ann Begler, about how to build bridges between non-attorney mediators and attorney mediators. Since dispute resolution professionals come from diverse backgrounds, we've always tried to get a topic that appeals to all types of dispute resolution professionals. The thing I've been uh, enjoying most about the Kaplan Lecture is that we bring in people with national reputations in the field of dispute resolution. I see a time where we stop using the term ADR and that collaboration, litigation, 
mediation, arbitration, all the different ways that you can resolve a dispute are simply thought of as options. The lecture has been a wonderful and unique unifying event in the ADR community in Pittsburgh over the past 10 years. I of course want to thank Judge Kaplan for all that he did in introducing ADR and sensible dispute resolution in our area and promoting it throughout his career. <laughs> I'm probably getting a lot more credit for this than I deserve. <laughs>